Well, good morning, everyone. It's it's uh, four thirty my time here this morning, and uh, my wife in there. She's got the coffee going. We've had a had a pot. We're making another one, and the fire's hot. It's uh, supposed to be up in the thirties today, so this ice and snow we've got should start melting. It seems to me like, but. Uh, I thought I'd, that I'd struggled yesterday trying to remember the, the name where I of this uh, where I get the the scriptures that I'm writing I write out and it's it's called the the uh, treasury of scriptural knowledge and using that tool you can take any any verse in the in the Bible and through it using that you can take a verse and and find all the references that correlate with that scripture itself so i use that and then i look specifically through uh, the pauline epistles uh, which is paul's writings uh, and that's where i get this because I, I deal with paul through his writings um, and i dig into the truth of his writing because his writings is for us today He's our apostle. He was chosen uh, by the risen Christ with a message for us today. And by staying with his epistle, uh, his writings, uh, we don't mix what was given to Israel with what was given to us uh, for us through Paul, through the risen Christ. Because you all know that uh, Paul didn't know Jesus in the flesh. You know, he persecuted those that was of the way. They call them of the way. Uh, and later they was called Christians as a slang, as, as a, it was called Christians. But uh, today the Christianity is, is uh, teaching a gospel that is of fear. Uh, you have to do things. You have to live a certain way uh, to be a, a good Christian. I heard uh, someone saying on on a newscast that um, a guy had uh, changed his ways. He became a good Christian and quit drinking and doing this and, and was doing that, you know, becoming a good Christian. <clears throat> through through religion, uh, becoming a better person. Well, you know, according to uh, Paul's writings, uh we was crucified with Christ. Uh, we was buried with him. The baptism of death buried into him into baptism. Uh, through death and risen, uh, we live through Christ. Christ lives through us. We are the body of Christ. There is no sin, uh, no condemnation to those in Christ. Romans 1. Uh, Romans 8, 1. So, to become uh, a Christian, I don't relate with being a Christian. I'm, I'm, I live my life according as I, as I see fit because guess who's living in me? Christ is living in me and he, uh, I portray that lifestyle, that, that way of living is Christ living in me. Uh, and, you know, God has wrote this all out. You know, we're living according to his will, he wills, <laughs> it's not our will, right? But anyway, I, I thought I'd tell you all where I was getting this stuff. It's, uh, and I go through the scriptures and, and we can reference this stuff through it. You know, you can take a reference and run it. Uh, and that's what I do. I reference this stuff. So I, I started yesterday or day before, I, I had to go back and look, but on Ephesians 3, uh, 16 through uh, 19. I'm going to be running the references of that, and that's what these last two videos have been. And this one here is is based on on uh, Ephesians 3:17, uh, which is Christ to dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, having been rooted and grounded in love. Uh, and, and, you know, we are sons of God. God delights in, in us. So that's where I'm getting this, uh, this little bit for today. And you can take this and reference it through your scriptures, through your Bible. I, 
and I recommend you get a, a concordant literal translation. Uh, that's where I do all of mine, and in the back of it, it's got a, uh, it's got a, a keyword concordance in the back of it. So any word that's in there, you know, this is this is unique because they take one word and they assign it in the Greek to the uh, English where we can understand it. And uh, unlike some of them, I, I, I'm not going to get into that part. How some of them are different. They take a word and they make it three or four things, mean three or four different things. And so, some, but anyway. So, this is on Ephesians 3.17. And this is what uh, what I've I found and, and dug out and wrote out. Okay, so I hope this is beneficial for someone um, because Christ does dwell in, in our heart. And we've been grounded in love. So, <clears throat> Uh, Ephesians 3 17 Christ to dwell in your hearts through faith that you having been rooted and grounded in love yet you are not in flesh but in spirit if so be that God's spirit is making its home in you now if anyone has not Christ's spirit this one is not his now if Christ is in you the body indeed is dead because of sin yet the spirit of life because of righteousness now if the spirit of him who rouses Jesus from among the dead is making its home in you he who rouses Christ from among the dead will also be vivifying your mortal bodies because of his spirit making its home in you now, what concurrence has a temple of God with the idols? For you are, are the temple of the living God, according as God said, that I will be making my home and will, will be walking in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. With Christ have I been crucified, yet I am living, no longer I, but living in me is Christ. Now, that which I am now living in flesh, I am living in faith that is of the Son of God, who loves me and gives himself up for me, in whom the entire building being connected together is growing into a holy temple in the Lord, to whom God wills to make known what are the glorious riches of this secret among the nations, which is Christ among you, the expectation of glory. Now concerning the idol sacrifices, we are aware that, that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, yet love builds up. For the love of Christ is constraining us, judging this, that if one died for the sake of all, consequently all died. And he died for the sake of all that those who are living should by no means still be living to themselves, but to the one dying and being roused for their sakes. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision is availing anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith operating through love. Having been rooted and being built upon him and being confirmed in the faith, according as you were taught, superbounding in it with thanksgiving, giving thanks always for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to our God and Father. At the same time, giving thanks to the Father who makes you competent for a part of the allotment of the saints in light, who rescues us out of the jurisdiction of darkness and transports us into the kingdom of the Son of his love. And everything whatsoever you may be doing in word or in act, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. In everything be thankful, be giving thanks, for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ for you. <laughs> I, I really enjoy... Uh, the positive of this stuff, this this stuff. 
of this evangel, the positive in it. Uh, and if we can, if we can focus on staying true to Paul's writings, staying in that, and and learning from that, you know, all Scripture is inspired, but it's not all wrote to us. It's all for our uh, benefit. We can learn from it, but stay with Paul's writings and and this this uh, concordant literal that I have. I've got the Old Testament, which um, it's there's a lot in there, but I stay with Paul's writings. Uh, concordant.org, I believe, is a website where you can get this. And this book, this Bible is, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, I'm gonna have to order some more because I give them to my kids. Uh, I'm gonna give, I gave Elizabeth one and she, <laughs> uh, so, and I wanna get one for my daughters and sons and, uh, but we learn, you know, we, we learn from all scripture. But Paul's writings is wrote for us today because Paul is our apostle, our apostle. Um, so anyway, there's a little something for today. Um, and to, tomorrow I'm going to be doing the, the uh, everything goes right. You know, uh, Ephesians 3 um, Or this one here's on 17, so it'll be uh, 318. I got the, I turned it, I turned the page. <laughs> it looked different. Uh, verse 18. So that'll be tomorrow. I'll have that and look it all up and get that wrote out. So anyway, it's references, and we can we can go and reference them through our Bibles and and or write them out. I I write them out because I've got it. Uh, I can open it up, and there it is. You know, it's it's you can read it, and, and it's it's all encouraging. So we encourage each other. All right. Anyway, y'all have a great day, and I'm gonna go get some more coffee made, and uh, and see if I can't stir up my wife or something, get her fired up. <laughs> I enjoy I enjoy life, and uh, I know y'all do too. Hey, I'll talk to you later.